Hello everyone. So we had a long time since I posted a video on this bike. Yes, it's the Royal Enfield Classic 500. 2017 manufactured in like 2016. And remember we were talking about uh, a while back. I haven't run it because this rare sprocket. Missing some teeth on there. So yeah, so yep, yeah, teeth missing. Looks like it went with about with uh, Mr. Mike Tyson. But yeah, so uh, actually I, sw I swapped it out. New one's on there. The um, but I have to make a video of it. So today, I'll show you real quick how we do this. And remember, you got a there's a bearing that has to go in here. And we got the bearing from Hitchcock's. That's the bearing number right there make sure you get a new seal with it right here so what you're going to use is you need a 30 millimeter 24 millimeter 19 millimeter and you're going to need a screwdriver screwdriver for this end okay you need to put it in there you know what i mean you need to put it in there to hold the spr to hold this sprocket still, okay, while you're taking off these bolts here. Okay, so we're going to take this off, this off, these off, and then the wheel, the wheel will come out, drop down, we'll replace the, the bearing. I'll show you how I did that, and uh, we'll go from there, and then we'll go back and reinstall it. So let's get busy with it. Okay, so I went ahead and took this off. This is the brake lever in here. Leave that off to the side. So I'm gonna talk to you just to show you what I'm doing over here right quick. And if you can tell, it's not just about the center kicks in, it's about, the, about some two by four planks. Helps raise it up, give more leverage on this here. So what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna use this 24 millimeter. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to take that one off there. Easy peasy. Okay, guys? Hey, the hardest thing is not taking the tire off. Or the wheel off. The hardest thing, put it back on. See how it's spinning? Am I going to use the screwdriver thing? I'm going to hold the sprocket on the other side nice and still. And we can go ahead and... Take care of that. Done. That piece there. I want to come after this one. Now remember, when you're doing so, the uh, you have this here, um, uh, the gauge over here, the marker for the uh, wheel alignment. So you need to take care of that. Make sure you mark it. Remember where it's at, right there. So this one's on like mark. It's on like 20. A little bit. It's on like 21, 22. Just remember that. Use your feet. Extra, extra hands. Mm -hmm. That one. 
Remember from the other side, this comes off. Okay, pushing. Keep it in line. Now, there goes the tire. The tire comes out. Now we're not gonna take it fully out of it. We're just gonna leave it right there, okay? Next thing is, we have here, we want to take all of this off. We're going to take this nut here off, which is the 19 millimeter. I'm going to put it, oh, it's right here. in a line. Keep it in there. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Remember this goes on here. Right? So there you have it. Those are in there. That's what we're going to replace right quick. Now I've already done the brake shoes. They're a done deal. So we're not going to touch that. Remember, inside you have this. Make sure you take this out accordingly. Okay, the bushings there. It's the other side of it. That's the one we're taking out. Let me get a, me get a towel and wet my hands right quick. Get something over here because we're going to tap this out. Wood. Right here. Let's see. Come out of there. Takes a few whacks. It's not the easiest thing to pop out. But we'll get it done. Came out easy peasy. Done deal. Now, we'll put a new one in. You see how that is? Going in there nice and easy. Well, not too easy. We gotta get a, put in the
Det var godt. Couple more taps, I think. And remember, once you get the bearing on there, once you get the bearing settled in there correctly, put a new seal on it. And it just puts it in there, give it a couple of taps, and then it just fits right in there. Don't forget, you have this side also. So, remember you have this piece, and go in like so, goes in there, do a little push, it seats in, we have this piece right here, the a spacer, it'll sit like so. And you're basically done. Now, I think it's the hardest part, getting it all back on there. So, give me a minute here to reorganize myself. To where I need to be at. And let me see here, we'll do this, we'll do that. It's over there, right there. Remember, so what we're looking at doing, remember, this, right, just putting it right back together. Bob's your uncle. Done deal. Now, tricky parts about to come up. Not really tricky. More of a pain in the buttocks. Remember how this nut has these two flat sides? They have to fit in here. Okay? And you want to do that, the chain coming up on it. So the chain. That on it. Get it up like so. Give this a turn. Yeah, if I get on the first turn, I'll be I'll be pressing myself. Yeah, I impressed myself. I got it on there the first try. Holy moly. What the heck was going on with that? Oh, remember, this, the one out here was underneath it. 
So let me take it back off. Okay. Holy moly. Yeah, I impressed myself again. Because well, the other night when I did this, it was like, oh man, can it, can it like hurt me any more to do it? Because it was such a pain in the butt too. Okay. If you want to, you can take an intermission right now. But I'm going to just keep on going forward with it. And you literally, if you don't tighten your chain up correctly, now's the time to do it. I will take the, the, the chain down to the bike shop down in downtown Melbourne, Melbourne, Florida that is, and have them put the chain for me. So it's all like professional like. You know me? I probably screwed it up somewhere along the line. Okay. The tricky part is we're gonna lift the tire. Right, so now I'm checking to make sure stuff turns. I mean, pretty cool right now. We're gonna lift this tire and put it up on there. In the tire, these little notches here have to go inside there with the braking system. To me, that is like the hardest part of the whole thing. Terribly hard for me to do. Terribly. I will get it done. I want to see what happens is remember the slots that are in there oh sure I'll take it apart right there nope. well the little brake for the brake drum has these, these fans these little paddles they fit into the, uh, the wheel hub assembly itself how to make sure that gets aligned so that's on now we have to remember this, we have to install this. Okay. Come to the other side. Pain in the butt. So if you have like extra hands, it would be amazing. Almost there.
a stick. That was quick. Just to show you right quick what I had to do. I had to align the bushing, the spacer, and this here, which is the spindle, the axle, all the way through, comes out here. Now we can do, start putting the nuts and bolts back on. Wanted it at we want this here and number like 22. We put that on there. We're gonna set this one first. Oh, gotta loosen that one up. That's where the first one comes in. Check on the other side. Make sure the other side is not lined up. About the same. take you a couple times remember it's still compressing uh, those wheel bearings into the right space so it's going to take a couple of times of doing so you know I can feel it bringing it in closer okay now I'm going to take this one Four millimeter. This is where I need to use a screwdriver. Remember we talked about the screwdriver? And this is what we're doing. See how it's loose? So we keep the screwdriver, we're gonna push against here into the number two position, the 22 position, and we're gonna keep this still, okay? That's what we're gonna do next. Get everything in position. Four's in there, good. 
Don't forget, still gotta come back and re tighten this one here. So the 19 millimeter. Bob's your uncle. Or your aunt. Depends on where you're at. Seattle, John. In Melbourne, Florida. He's your uncle. Don't forget about it. And remember, last thing you do, do the co reconnect your brake on here. Push that through. Okay. Guess I'll give it some spin, see how it is. Right? So what we're gonna do now, give it some spins, you know, we'll get up this, we'll, we'll start spinning it, and then we'll press on the brake to make sure it grabs your brake. So, Let's go ahead and give it a couple of spins here. Hey, I think we did a good job, people. So there you go. Now you've seen the basics for... Now you've seen the basics for what we're going to do we have to replace the rear sprocket okay brake pads are easy i mean come on it's easy stuff guys um but yeah so this one here was missing teeth this brake only has like 9700 miles on it the brakes actually weren't worn down that much so you can tell by looking in there it's in pretty good condition the brake pads you know I think the brake pad still had some good life on them over here you know but since it was off i went ahead and just did them went ahead and did them anyways so there you have it i'm gonna start it up clean the chain and uh take it on the block you guys have a great day and comments questions drop them down in the down below you know make sure you hit the uh the like and subscribe button and uh the Royal Enfield will be back on the road here in another day or so, which I think is awesome because I actually missed the tug, tug, tug sound. So, hey, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So I took it down the road, uh, drove it around, uh, up and down the block around here a little bit, did some uh, adjustments on, on this bolt right here for the brake and stuff like that. Seems to be working fine. I will definitely take, I'm going to clean the chain up a little bit and then I'm going to take it down. No, I'm not going to clean the chain up, I'll let the dealer do that. No, not the dealer, but the, uh, the motorcycle shop down the street in downtown Melbourne. Where all they do is work on old bikes like this. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give them a call, make an appointment, and uh, have at it. Once again, this is Waffle Rider Moto. You guys have a fantastic day. And uh, like I said before, hit the like and subscribe, subscribe buttons down below. And uh, you'll be seeing a lot more content on this bike.